I'm the operator with my pocket calculator. Alright, so our position was that technology should not be used in the classroom, and we cited a couple reasons on how calculators tend to mislead students if they don't know how to use them proper, properly, and it's not really becoming arithmetic errors, but rather just operator errors, which leads to more problems and students not knowing why they got questions wrong. We cited two examples, one being entering this into a calculator and getting negative 16 when really you needed those parentheses to actually get the correct answer. So we're kind of showing that we are smarter than our calculator, saying that we see this and we know to do the whole thing squared, if that's what the question was asking. Now, I've seen, and Zach has seen, our students enter this exact thing into a calculator just to see if they'll get 28 instead of actually trying to do the algebra and solving for x. So that sort of builds on this calculator dependency where students think that a calculator will do everything for them when really it can't, can only do so much. Yep, and continue on that, continue. Uh, we, a lot of this abstract math is built up off the basics, and if we're using a calculator all the time in all the classes, we can't build up those basic skills that people need to understand. Um, a lot of times in classrooms, uh, when I'm teaching my algebra students, or even my algebra two students, a, a problem come down to eight plus seven, and they have to type in eight plus seven in their calculator. They can't do basic, simple math that we should be able to get right away. And also, Cody and I both studied abroad in Africa this past summer, and those students did not have calculators, and their arithmetic skills, I would take over anybody in this classroom any day. I'll give you guys all 30 seconds to solve for X right here without using a calculator. They'd have it done in about 10. So, go. Okay, time's up. Anyone got an answer? Thought so. So, <laughs> we don't think there should be any technology in the classroom because for us to really know the basics, we need to practice without a calculator all the time. So all you need is a pencil and a dream. No <laughs> technology. And our slogan says, technology is not a crutch, don't use it too much. And we think that um, technology should only be used when it makes things more efficient. And um, that students have to have basics. Like in math, they have to know how to do 6 divided by 2. They can't just plug that into their calculator. Um, but technology is useful when you're trying to solve for something bigger. And you can just quickly like plot your points. And then you can use that graph for something larger that you're trying to do and not waste your time on doing the things that you're not testing on. Slogan, embrace it, do not hate it. Uh, we were in the middle, kind of like above middle, so seven eighths. Um, one of our uh, first thoughts was, um, you know, kids have their technology, they use it outside the classroom already, and they try to be inside the classroom and we tell them they can't. So one of our fundamental ideas was basically that, you know, if they're going to have that technology, we need to find meaningful ways for them to use it in the classroom. So for example, you know, if they have an iPad or if they have a smartphone, you know, there's a thousand different apps that can be used for mathematical purposes as a learning experience. Um, they can even, you know, with wireless internet, you know, they can communicate, communicate between uh, pieces of technology, um, send each other data, things like that. Um, the only drawback that we found um, was that if we use it too much or if we use it too soon, it can become a crutch. So for example, you know, students should be able to learn and master uh, simple addition and division multiplication before they can use technology uh, for those simple problems. For, so for example, um, once they do master those concepts, uh, 3,517 divided by 61 um, is kind of a waste of time. They know how to divide, they know how to do long division. So they should be able to use their calculator for that problem. Um, also, um, technology should be used for bigger, better, more complex problems that actually promote problem solving. So instead of spending five minutes you know, doing out a stupid algebra problem, you know, they could spend that five minutes solving a far more complex real, real world problem that involves the algebra. And done. So pretty much what we said, as long as technology doesn't trivialize the concept that is um, being taught, it should be allowed. 
Um, technology allows for like efficient time use and you can let your students check their answers when they like do something by hand. Um, it allows for visuals, like how often do you just love to get a graph? Or like if students know how to do a table, let them get a table on their calculator. It's so much more easier and faster and you can do so much more math. And then technology also requires common sense. Um, when you get an answer, you have to make sure that what your answer number comes to makes sense. You're allowed that extra time. Instead of computing this long thing, you can get an answer on a calculator or any other form of technology. And you can use that extra time that you have to make sure that what you have makes sense to the problem or the context. Um, and then, like, technology is just new. It's the new era. It's the future, and it's not going to go away. And so as teachers, as educators, we need to jump on board and teach our students how to use technology because it's going to be available when they leave the classroom. It's not like if you teach them without technology, they're not going to pick it up outside. So why not just use them, teach them how to use it in a powerful way um, because it can be really, really helpful. Um, and also, everyone's so worried about losing the process of math if the technology is used, but it can definitely be incorporated with it. Um, you can have process steps and technology used together and understanding will be reached if technology is used. You just have to make sure that you um, explain it right with the technology that you need.